Hey, I'm Lauren with New Media Rights, and you're watching Lagged. Today, we're talking with Jordan Weissman, founder of FASA, FASA Interactive, WizKids, and is the creator of the Battletech franchise and MechWarrior, among many, many others. He's also currently working on the fabulously successful Kickstarter for Shadowrun 2. So, Jordan, is there anything that uh, anything else of import that you'd want people to know about you, like favorite candy, least favorite car, or what you do as, as you on a daily basis? Wow, favorite candy. That's a tough one. I know when I was, um, you know, whenever I got a bunch of candy, like at Halloween, I would always sort it out to like the candy I liked and the candy I didn't like. And then I would eat the candy I didn't like first um, to preserve the candy I liked till later, um, you know, because you want to keep the good stuff till later. So, you know, I, I guess I'll eat any candy is really what it comes down to. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you've added so many projects, so what is it that you, you do on them? What's your average day like? Well, um, my average day is uh, I get up early, and I work really late, and then I go home. Um, and then I work more, and then I go to sleep. Um, <laughs> because I, I'm lucky enough to really love what I do, um, which is uh, making games and telling stories and collaborating with wildly creative people, um, you know, in the effort of making games and telling stories and, you know, been lucky enough to be doing that for 32 years now. Some sites have dubbed you a serial entrepreneur and it seems a fairly accurate term to describe you, but what prompted the, the start of FASA Corp and the Battletech franchise? Well, you know the difference between a serial murder and a serial entrepreneur, don't you? One gets paid. Uh, well, one leaves a, a longer, you know, wake of corpses in their past. <laughs> Um, and that would be the entrepreneur. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I, uh, I have uh, fallen into the role of serial entrepreneur. Uh, that was not uh, the intention. Um, really, it's, a, uh, it's the same story kind of repeated time after time, which is uh, I come up with something that I think should exist, and I try to convince other people to let me make it for them and they don't think it should exist, so then I have to go off and make a company to make it exist. Um, and so that's the only reason I ended up starting a lot of companies. I actually, um, I'm not really like uh, <clears throat> a great manager or, or any kind of, you know, like brilliant business guy. I just uh, I love making different types of, of games and, and different ways of telling stories. And that sometimes means you have to innovate in the garage. Well, actually, I guess it means most of the time you have to innovate in the garage because um, larger companies are, are sometimes pretty risk averse to try to thing. So that's why I ended up starting a lot of companies. Uh, the first one, uh, FASA, as, as you mentioned, was started, that was founded in 1980 uh, with a partner, uh, Ross Babcock. And that came about um, because I had had this um, uh, concept to create um, this networked uh, virtual reality environment. Uh, this was long before that term was invented, so I called it an environmental simulation, a, a shared environmental simulation. And uh, having been a recent college dropout, I went to a bunch of venture capitalists and tried to raise money to build this really elaborate um, location-based entertainment center, uh, which would have these very expensive computers and this big network for people to, um, to get into the same virtual environment and have these adventures together. And um, uh, they looked at me kind of, you know, askance and said, uh, we have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Why would anyone, you know, pay money, like, to buy a ticket to play a game and and, you know, what's a network and, and what's a, you know, shared reality and, you know. So that, that didn't work out too well. So uh, I decided to uh, start a paper-based game company, um, which uh, uh, I did, you know, with 300 bucks. Um, basically, at, at my traveler game that I was running, I said, okay, I'm going to start this company. I, I need someone who's got 300 bucks. And Ross raised his hand and we became partners for 20 years. Um, and so the, the premise was start the paper game company, get rich overnight to fund the, uh, the electronic company. Um, and it uh, didn't quite work out that way, but, but seven years later, FASA was able to, uh, to fund the, the creation of virtual entertainment, uh, which did indeed produce uh, uh, networked uh, games that, we, uh, that I originally wanted to do.